Today's video, we're going to be having a look at the FOCO Justice League Superman Limited Edition Bobblehead. I want to send out a big thank you to the folks over at FOCO for providing the sample pieces that we've been looking at here on this channel. This is Superman depicted from the Justice League movie. Let's get the old tape measure going. Put it right to the top of Superman's head. That's a good of a place as any. The tape measure tells us that this bobble head of the Man of Steel stands 8.5 inches in height. Translating that to centimeters, you're looking at 21.7. This particular bobble head comes in two pieces, the base and the Superman bobble head. When we look at the base first, then I'll show you how everything comes together. A neat looking representation, a stylized representation of the Superman monument from the Just League fight scene in which he battles the rest of the league. You can see that there's nice rubble that has been sprinkled across the top of the highest stairwell. And you've got the Justice League logo there raised in an embossed logo and I like that. Nice coloring by the way added to all of this. The almost bluish gray mixed with the dark gray does bring out a lot of those neat looking details. And we flip it around helps we flip it the right way. Here we have the limited edition handcrafted collectible from FOCO. Also indicated it's made in China and you've got four felt feet to prevent scratching on surfaces. You'll probably also see that there's a hole and a large enough area that something could fit inside. It's like that because we can go ahead and take Superman's peg from his foot and we're gonna slide it into that hole. Now I have to admit that there's not a whole lot of clearance they give you a groove right here, but I don't feel like it fits well enough into the slot. I guess this would be the groove here. This little peg right here, I don't find fits well enough. You have to be very careful when you are screwing Superman in place. And this is one of those instances where it's certainly a good thing that they give you a washer as well as a fastener that you can screw in place. As you can see, there's very little of the peg that sticks through. That screw fits through. I rhymed and didn't mean to rhyme. A poet and didn't know it, if you will. We're gonna go ahead and screw this in place. It's also very difficult because you, you really shouldn't be angling it the way that I am. So I think what I'll do is I'll just screw this in place and then we'll resume with the rest of this review. And once you do have that screwed in place, you've got yourself Superman in a somewhat taking off pose. And luckily, they do give you the option of screwing that in place because I don't know if, how comfortable I would feel just if that was just pegged into the hole. I don't feel like they would be stable enough. But luckily, with that screwed in place, Superman isn't going to be going anywhere. Now, having a look at the bobblehead itself, uh, of course, you've got Superman in his Justice League colors, which is not that much of a variation from the Batman v Superman or the Man of Steel costume, just a little bit brighter in colors. Here they've really saturated him with some additional bright blues and reds not really seen in the film. Um, I guess that is a good thing because the colors certainly pop. Uh, the colors down here on his boots are a little bit darker in contrast to that of his cape. And we just spin it around. The cape is a really nice shiny uh, paint that they used for it with some nice darker recessed areas. Um, as for Superman's head sculpt, in all honesty, I don't know how much it looks like Henry Cavill. It doesn't look so bad from the side, but from the front, I don't know how much that looks like him. It actually bears a little bit more of a resemblance to James Marsden, who played Cyclops in the uh, Brian Singer uh, X-Men films. That's just my own personal opinion. I guess this side, it doesn't look too bad either. Keeping in mind as well that these are handcrafted items. Um, it goes without saying that they're obviously not scanning this from the actor's head sculpt. They're, they're handcrafting them. And I think they've done a pretty good job. Like I said, from the side, I think it looks a little bit more like Cavill. From the front, I'm actually seeing more so James Marsden. The eyes are really nicely painted as well. The whole face for this being hand, hand done, the paint is done really well. And again, you've got the Justice League costume right here. 
in a very saturated amount of coloring. One could even say it's got more coloring to it than it did actually in the film itself. Here they've just bombarded it with a very bright blue. And then within that blue, you've got the gold on the belt and of course the elevated Superman emblem there in red and yellow. Paint for the most part is pretty clean around the emblem area. It gets a little on the messier side where yellow has carried off from where it was supposed to fill in and a little bit of the blue from the, uh, the outfit here also has carried its way into the emblem. Uh, I like the pose. I like the flight pose. And uh, of course, this is also a bobblehead. So as you could probably guess it, yeah, there's the spring on the inner socket of the head sculpt here, giving you the option to bobble it. Um, the material, I don't, I don't know what the actual material that they use for it. I don't know if it, I don't feel like it's resin, but it's about the same sort of quality of resin. So with that, you got to be careful, of course, that these don't bang. You don't drop them because they are going to crack and break. They're not certainly made out of plastic. Um, and then with that comes with more of the kind of crafter's quality feel that comes with it. Like it feels like something that was handmade as opposed to something that was just run through an assembly line. And that could actually be a good thing in, in a way as well. Foco, if you've checked out their website, they're, uh, they're really big into like sports teams and doing bobbleheads based on sports athletes. And then they've also branched off to do the DC characters as well. Having already looked at the Batman from Dark Knight Returns and here looking at the Superman. One thing that really uh, caught my attention on their website was that they also did, and I believe it was an SDCC release, it was the Bane breaking of the Batman bobblehead that had Bane holding Batman and breaking him over across his knee. And that's a really neat looking bobblehead. Eventually I'd like to get my hands on that. But um, uh, overall, a really neat looking bobblehead. I truthfully don't feel like I'm seeing Henry Cavill, but overall I'm pretty happy with the look of it. And I like that they didn't just have him standing on top of the base. Instead, they've at the least given him some flight or looking as if he's flying off the display stand. And that's pretty cool. Spending a little bit more time over on Foco's website, if you were to go and check out foco.com, you'll see a lot of sports related items like athletes, and mascots being given the bobblehead treatment. But if you look a little bit closer as well, you'll see Foco is expanding on that, doing things like DC Comics, doing things like horror and WWE. In fact, some of the ones that have really caught my attention, for example, they've done like the Beetlejuice, the Barber and the Atom, those glow in the dark, which is kind of neat. They've done some WWE figures and they've even done characters like Pennywise the 1990, Tim Curry Pennywise and the twins from The Shining. So Foco's expanding above and beyond just doing sports related items. They're doing a whole bunch of other uh, bobbleheads as well, which is really neat. Uh, speaking of the Justice League Superman bobblehead, it's a neat looking bobblehead. I will admit though, it doesn't really look a lot like Henry Cavill, but I have to keep telling myself that this is a handcrafted item. This is not something that they would have scanned directly from the actor or taken movie scans. This is something that somebody would have handmade the, the head sculpt on their own. So there's that charm and there's that appeal that goes along with this being a handcrafted item. If you guys want to check out more from Foco, uh, and check out your fanhood, head over to www.foco.com. Like I said, there's more than just sports teams and sports athletes, even though that's probably what you'll see right off the bat when you go over to their website. You can also follow them on Facebook, also on Twitter, and on Instagram as well. Um, regarding the Justice League bobbleheads, they've also sent me the Aquaman, which we will be looking at in the next review, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Uh, more videos, including, like I said, the Aquaman that they were nice enough to send my way. We're going to be looking at that one and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So thanks for watching as you always do, guys. And I'll see you next time.